Okay. Your work sounds very challenging. It can be, definitely, but also very needed. I'm, I'm sure about that. <laughs> uh, so I, it sounds, how do you see her work? Mm, I'm seeing it's coming very close to the Vika culture and the Vika religion. Have you been in, connected with them? Vika? Vika, yeah. I don't know that expression. No. Ah, okay. okay. What I was it? thinking it, it seems like the Vika church. I mean, the, oh, the new kind of, the, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because the terminology you were using, it's, uh, it's the same, the Vikas, I guess. Oh, where, where are cool. Vikas uh, working? Yeah. Uh, in whole <laughs> the world. In, in Finland, they are particularly many of them. Vika. Yeah, it's like the um, new genera generation religion, which is uh, putting new all age the... New exactly, kind yeah, of thing. They are putting all the... All things the, together yeah, and the, finding exactly. the essence. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you travel now from Rennes le Chateau, you travel to another place. Yeah, then I go back to uh, Holland, we'll yeah. spend some weeks there, do yeah. workshops and lectures like that. Mm. And then we will travel next time to Bulgaria and Romania Okay. to help uh, the stones um, and the swings uh, and some mountains around that area to get the voice back. Everything is linked together with ley lines mm. and, and water contains a frequency mm. and that frequency has memories. So mm. basically I just help the water to put its memories back to the surface mm. so people know what is safe. But here in Rennes Le Chateau, what did you feel? What did you sense? <laughs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> there's uh, uh, many sacred uh, places around here and there's uh, a lot of high vibrations. Also, there is the suppression of what once happened, it's always nice to say it like that, which is flowing around uh, the mountains. Uh, so you feel these waves of openings and then this suppression of fear and all of a sudden a feeling of sadness and it transforms back into um, a more blissful feeling. But it sounds heavy to support as feeling. Yes and no. So <laughs> when you when you allow emotions to run through, it is always okay. Emotions are part of human life. But so when you allow it to run through, you can transform it into love, which is the highest vibration with success. Um, so when you are in a state of allowance, it is, it is not heavy, it becomes beautiful. And when you, for example, we were visiting the mountain Bukharat, it for long had been uh, attracting people because of its power. So people came with the wrong intentions, if you ask me. So we went there and talked with the mountain and allowed the mountain to feel one, allowed the mountain to feel love. And then you can see how the mountain starts vibrating more in oneness with itself. Because it's like speaking, that has, that has a frequency, you have a frequency, and together you recognize each other, so you are one. Did you go see the, the church? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's very heavy for me. <laughs> very heavy. Um, it, it, feels like, it feels like there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of suppression and there's a lot of misattributions at the place. Also, there's a lot of people who are seeking this freedom inside of themselves who, who come there and let go of all their sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. So they give all their shit, <laughs> basically, but without bringing the feeling of gratefulness back. I know many people also would do that, but therefore the, the wave of energies of which is in the church is this suppression. There's also the light, of course. Um, but but for me, what I feel the most is suppression. And when you then are there for a while, then allow yourself to go through the suppression, well, where it's not yours, and, and send it on, you can feel the presence, present, the present uh, of these spirits like Maria Magdalene and Jesus. So because people seek that here, so they they summon this energy and they keep summoning this energy field here. So there is this stream all the time uh, to this uh, vibrational image. What do you think about the, the idea that people come here to search for the Holy Grail? <sighs> I will say the Holy Grail is inside of themselves. And people... people. So please say it again. You want to start? <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I can ask it again. Please test the last question. Yeah. What do you think about the fact that people come here to seek for the Holy Grail? I believe that the Holy Grail is inside of yourself, but people need their own way to find it. Many people keep traveling outside of themselves in order to find what is within, but some people need that. So in that term, I believe it's okay, it's good. 
if you need to travel the world to realize that you're beautiful inside, go do it. But it's not something. It's not a cup. It's a, it's an energy form, and it's the energy of unconditional love and oneness within everyone. Thank you, Elisa. You're very nice welcome. meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> and put some clothes. I on. will. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope Thank you, you so didn't much. miss.